Batmech welcomes you to our instructional video series. This instructional video is for the 2012 through 2017 Lexus ES 300H hybrid battery pack replacement. You can also use this video as a guide to replace single modules with Batmech replacement modules. This video is intended for highly trained individuals who understand the risks of working with high voltage. Risk includes loss of property or life. Repair at your own risk. To streamline this series, this video begins after the removal of your battery from the vehicle. Here's a look at the tools we use to make this type of repair. Here's a look at our suggested personal protective equipment, or PPE. Your shop may have different protocols to keep you safe. It's always best to follow your shop's safety protocol. We recommend using high voltage gloves to protect you and then putting leather gloves over the high voltage gloves to protect the gloves. There are times during the disassembly where there is more risk of exposure to high voltage. So please be careful and wear your gloves when in doubt of your safety. We recommend placing the battery case on a non-conductive work surface. Let's get started. Start by removing the orange plug. Next, you'll remove the nuts and bolts to separate the case from the battery. Once the nuts are removed, you'll want to remove the nuts that hold the main high voltage terminals. Then you'll want to unplug the wire shown here. You can now remove the case. Now that we have the top case off, you'll want to remove the wiring harnesses on both sides of the battery. To do so, start first by removing the black wiring harness covers. Then remove all the screws that hold the wiring harness to the battery terminals. The third step is to separate the wiring harness from the battery terminals. You'll repeat these steps on the opposite side of the battery. After the harnesses are removed, go ahead and unplug the wiring harness, which should be completely removed from the battery modules. Now that the wiring harness is removed, go ahead and remove this component. Then continue by removing the components on the other side of the battery pack. Now that removal of the end components have been completed, remove the black plastic end piece and flip over the battery. Continue on by removing the screws that hold the case to the bottom of the battery pack. Then remove the bottom cover. Now that you've removed the bottom of the case, you can proceed by removing the temperature sensor wires. Next, go ahead and tip the battery pack up. Make sure this end is at the bottom of the pack. Again, please note, the metal tab ends of the compression block should be at the bottom of the stack. This is an important thing to keep in mind. Now, go ahead and remove the white bookend at the top of the stack from the compression block. Finally, remove the modules from the compression block. Remember to return the old modules back to Batmech if applicable. Now that the battery is completely disassembled, you can prepare to reassemble the battery. Carefully unpack your Batmech boxes. Everything you need to rebuild your battery, including new bus bars and nuts, will be sent to you. Your Batmech batteries are individually tested to assess leaks, capacity, voltage, and internal resistance. The highest and lowest capacities are arranged in ways to optimize the pack's performance and to optimize the differences in block voltage throughout the pack. 
Each pack is load tested at the same time, but Batmech monitors the voltage of each individual module when testing. Packs are tested under a high current load. This is also a great time to remind you to save your boxes you received from Batmech. These make great core return boxes for shipping your old modules. Back to Batmech. Once you're mech tested, Batmech batteries have been removed from the boxes they were shipped in. Go ahead and stack them sequentially, from number 34 on the bottom up to number one at the top. Be sure the metal tabs are at the bottom or foot of the compression block before you assemble the battery modules into the compression block. After stacking your modules, they should look like this. The numbers should be sequential, from number one at the top down to number 34 at the bottom. Notice the two metal tabs at the bottom and the sequential numbers to the right of the stack. The numbering on these modules will be upside down. This is because of our standard testing procedures here at Batmech and because this Toyota model is unique in its wiring design. On the reverse side, modules should rotate from non-vent to vent. If you have two positives next to each other, you have the modules out of order. The same is true if you have two vents on top of each other. Notice on the right side, the battery numbering is out of order. To the left side, the three is upside down, placing it to the wrong side of the numbered row. Pay close attention not to make mistakes like these. First, another thing to keep in mind is that the modules should be flush when stacked on top of each other. This is achieved by making sure these interlocking tabs on the modules line up to where they connect with another module. If your modules are staggered, this is because your modules are not stacked properly. Now that the modules are stacked correctly and in the right order, you'll tighten down the bolts to the white plastic bookend assuring the modules stay snug in the compression block. Again, it's important the modules are stacked correctly as any error will cause your battery pack to fail immediately or soon thereafter. Now go ahead and lay the battery pack down with the sequential numbers facing up. Next, you'll attach the black insert and temperature sensor wires. Once the temperature sensor wires are reattached, go ahead and put the bottom metal case back on. You'll then screw it on using the Batmex supplied screws. Now that the case is secure, go ahead and flip over the battery. Next, you'll secure this component to the end of the bookend. Then attach this component to the other end of the battery. Note, don't forget to plug this wire back in. After attaching the components to the bookends in the previous two steps, you'll now replace all your old bus bars with the new Batmech supplied bus bars. This step is critical to ensure that the battery will work at peak performance. It also ensures that the battery won't fail now you're in the near future due to corrosion on the bus bars. On the side with the wiring terminal eyelets, take extra care not to break or damage those terminals as they are critical to the function of the battery. If you do break a terminal, never fear. Batmech.com does sell replacement wiring harnesses on our website. The rest of the reassembly of the battery pack will re-energize the battery. Your shop may have different protocols to keep you safe. It's always best to follow your shop's safety protocol. Before attaching the wire harness, be sure your torque settings on your torque wrench are set to about 55 inch pounds. If you don't follow these torque settings, you are likely to damage the terminals on the modules and will void your warranty. Never use max drill settings and never use an impact wrench. After replacing the bus bars on the wiring harnesses, it's time to reattach the orange wiring harnesses to the battery terminals using the new Batmech supplied nuts. You'll want to plug in the wiring harness to be sure it's operational. Note, you'll want to be sure the metal connector within the wiring harness is completely in place as it may dislodge.
Once your new nuts are attached to the harness, you'll reattach the black wiring harness covers. Then you'll repeat these steps again on the opposite side of the battery. Now's a good time to take a photograph of each side of the battery. These photographs can be used for review of assembly if you experience issues. This may save you from having to uninstall the entire battery later. Now it's time to go ahead and put the top of the metal case back on. Once the metal case is back on, you'll proceed by attaching the service plug wire to the case as shown here. You can go ahead and attach the service plug covers at this point. Although you are attaching them here, you'll need to expose the service plug connection during your installation back into the vehicle. Proceed by attaching the last few nuts to the base of the battery. Finally, you'll replace the orange plug back into the battery. Your battery is now ready to be reinstalled into the vehicle. Here are a few pro tips. Be sure the service plug is secured properly, otherwise you'll get error codes. You'll also want to clean your cabin filter every three months. Be sure to clean your cooling fan. Dirty cooling fans can cause the battery to overheat. This concludes our how-to demonstration. Remember as a highly skilled mechanic with high voltage training to wear the appropriate personal protection equipment your shop requires. Stay safe and thank you for shopping on batmech.com.